Kyokai Senki is a highly polished mech anime from Sunrise Beyond that follows the recent trend of giving tween-centric anime a serious storyline. Or maybe I'm just out of touch, but I think I've seen enough teenage anime that I know when something is aimed for a younger audience than that. Of course, there's nothing wrong with this, I'm just not keen on mixing Pokemon with Gundam, so maybe I'm not its ideal audience. However, there is some potential here considering it's set in a futuristic world where Japan suffered an economic climb to the extent that other nations stepped in offering aid. Of course, their good intentions weren't totally selfless as these nations decided that Japan was basically free real estate and went to war with each other over an attempt to carve up Japan like a turkey. The story follows Shiba, an orphan whose hobby is scavenging mech parts from destroyed mechs discarded after the border war. One day when visiting his secret cache, he coincidentally discovers a discarded box containing a powerful AI with the ability to read minds, hack computers, hear for like a mile away, and even control mechs, and will probably discover that it's going to do a lot more than this. It basically does everything. The AI desperately needs Shiba's help because it's running low on energy, and it hears the military coming in search of Shiba and his friends. During these times, the military treats Japanese as second-class citizens and can even murder them with impunity. After getting away with only a few scrapes, Shiba heads back to his massive secret military bunker that for whatever reason the military has never found. Inside, he works on a mech that was partially assembled and forgotten about after the war. Of course, the military eventually followed their clues leading to Shiba, causing him to escape, heading back to his secret bunker. Surprisingly, the AI managed to rebuild the entire mech overnight, controlling the remaining assembly machines. At this point, the military holds his friends hostage and his only choice is to break free and fight. The mech has an interesting control unit that sends your brain signals altering your perception of reality allowing you to move the mech with your body movements and see a visualization of the AI which just so happens to look like a cute Pokemon. I don't know about you, but war anime is the last place I want to see a Pokemon or anything cute for that matter. However, I am curious to see where this anime goes considering Shiba has the motive to become a freedom fighter considering his parents were killed in the war and he's obviously disgusted with the way things turned out. This anime feels like a well-polished 7 out of 10 that will have a decent story, but its main appeal will likely be its visuals unless you enjoy contextually inappropriate cute things. I'm also not a fan of its mech designs as they look like a utilitarian version of Zeta era mechs. Of course, I'll probably enjoy the designs more as the series advances, but these are just my first impressions. Overall, I thought this was a decent experience that I'll continue to cover out of curiosity about where it goes. I like mech anime, and Sunrise knows how to make good mech anime, so I'll continue watching. What did you think of Kyokai Senki? Like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time with another Fall 2021 episode review, though I'm not sure which series that's going to be.